Okay, so it's here. It's enormous. It weighs a ton. It's the OMG Remix Super Surprise. So Smith has finally gotten these in. I don't think Amazon has stock of them yet. The thing is huge. Um, these are, I think, 140 pounds, something like that. Over 200 pounds of value. I'm not sh dollars, in fact. I'm not sure I believe that, but this thing contains four OMGs and four LOLs. So technically, it's an eight pack. I keep referring to it as a four pack because I keep ignoring the LOLs, but technically, it's an eight pack. Technically. So, we're going to try and open this bloody thing, if I can figure out how. So bear with me. This may take a while. It's Japanese, I'm not sure. Right over there. Instructions in English. Preparing the band. Don't stand. Okay, I don't need these for now. This is just the instructions for once you get the things out. What I do need is this. I'm not sure the camera can actually see that. Okay, so we've got two bands. We've got the Supersonics and the Opening Act. Which is kind of funny. It's the Opening Act. A bit of a weird band because, well, we appear to have Beyonce and Lady Gaga and Acid Raver and Draculaura, so it's all pretty weird. But we do have instructions in lots and lots of different languages. That's all this is, is the same instructions in a bajillion different languages. So let's find the English. The English is here. Step one. Well, I should actually probably read this, but it says, Rock on! The Supersonics and their opening act sisters are about to shred the ultimate rock show. But backstage things are out of control as both bands try to get ready to take the stage. Follow the steps and unbox to help these BBs find their instruments and fashions. So they're ready to rock. I'm... okay. Step one is remove the dial. This. Okay. So what we've got is we've got Broken Heart treble volume. It goes up to nine. Mid volume, bass volume, and master volume. I'm disappointed none of these go up to 11. I am disappointed. <laughs> they had the opportunity for a reference and they missed it. I'm, I'm most disappointed in them. Anyway. <laughs> How do you remove this thing? It says remove dial. So. Am I just really dumb? Oh, wait, it is... I think it needs to be pried? I don't have fingernails, so there we go. It comes off. And we have our first bag of crap. That's interesting. This is paper. It's like a plastic kosher paper, but it's paper. It's not plastic, which is nice to see. I'm assuming it's probably... Yep, that's recyclable. Thank you, MGA, for finally frickin' listening! Let's see what's in it. Paper little baggy. It has a tiny pair of green shoes. These will be what baddies, whatever her name is. The problem I have with the way that you unbox these is that there's all these tiny pieces, and they're gonna get lost by the time you've gotten like anywhere near finding the bloody doll. I'm gonna stick my scissors in this little hole. Notice there's a tiny hole. This is a too big. There we go. That's number two, right? Yeah, that's number two. And now we've got a cobweb paper bag. I'm assuming this is going to be. What's her name? You can tell I don't collect um, LOLs, don't you? Metal babe. I don't understand how she's metal. What is she a reference to? Is it that Lolita J Pop metal band? Maybe. I don't know. Little pink boots. Tiny pink boots. There are two in here, I think. Let me just double check that. Yeah, there's two in there. Tiny pink boots. So right, we'll put those with the other shoes. I'm going to assume that all four of these just contain shoes for the kids. Get in there. Okay. Three is this bit. So number three, spin to reveal. 
Well, I would if there wasn't tape over there. Okay. Sellotape. Spin to reveal. Spin to reveal what? This bit. I'm going to assume it's another cobweb. Black one. And this is a guitar. Oh, I miss guitars. We should bring guitars back. They're such a ridiculous instrument. Okay, number four is also spin to reveal. Is it that one? This is awfully confusing. It's another green stripey, so I'm assuming that's baddies. It is a pair of bowls. We can pretend to be one of those monkeys. Okay, so that's her instrument. I'm going to keep these together and those together. Spin to reveal. Another one. And another one. Screw it. I don't know which number is which. It's not clear. Another pink. And an animal print. There's no rhyme or reason to any of this. What have we got here? It is a heart-shaped guitar. Is it a guitar or is it a bass? I don't know. Dull guitars tend to only have four strings as well, so God knows. What are making a bass? Yeah, I know. Dull guitars are never guitars. They never have enough strings. Oh, this I think is the guitar. Okay, so that's a bass and this is a guitar. This actually does have enough strings. It's so tiny. Oh no, it still only has four strings. <laughs> it still only has four strings. But it has six pegs, so <laughs> go figure on that one. Nose. That'll be whatever the other girl's called. What is she called? Fierce. Oh. Not Beyonce Honest. That one. Right, so. After you spin to reveal, you remove the dial on the other side. God, this really is not designed for someone who doesn't have fingernails. Parental supervision required. Let's just open them both together. Whoopsie. It's gone flying. I'll grab it later. Another black one and another animal print one. I suppose what you could do is you could just put all of these together in a little pile and not open them, but that kind of defeats the whole opening. This is another pair of shoes. Okay. This is a pair of glittery boots. So I think that the black, I'm not actually sure what that pattern is, uh, one of them will be Goo Goo Queen, not Lady Gaga. Um, the pink cobweb type pattern will be Metal Babe, the green stripes are baddie, and the animal print is fierce. So that's what they are. And yep, sure enough, this is another pair of boots. See, I called it, all of these contain shoes. These are quite ridiculous, sort of platformed animal print with a red to be honest, they remind me of uh, Scary Spice, but that's because I'm showing my age. Let's stick this back on. The other one's gone flying under the sofa. I'll grab it later. Okay, and then it's back to spin to reveal, isn't it? Back to spinning the dial. <sighs> Let's just get all of these out at once, shall we? That one. Oh god, this is hard to spin. This one. This one and this one. Now these ones are interesting because they're all in tissue paper. Again, this is nice to see they're not in plastic containers anymore. This is all tissue. So, you'd probably hang on to this and use it for something if you really felt that creative. What have we got here? We've got a metallized cone. It looks too big to go into the small dolls, so I'm assuming that's for the big dolls. 
but I don't really know. So I'm going to wrap that back up and put it on the pile. And we've got another one in pink, which will be another hair piece I'm assuming. Yep, this is actually a pair of glasses. Bat shaped. And the bat. Possibly sound like, I don't know. And those are her glasses. So yeah, I think these are for the big dolls. These are the OMG bits. I'm going to put them to the back behind here. This will be another headgear bit. Um, at least there's some theme to them. This is a pair of glasses again with a big lightning bolt on them. Those are very, very Lady Gaga glasses. Love it. And then finally we'll have Bad Girls glasses. Which are drippy slime with bad girl written on them. Because you know, poor literacy is cool. Those there. So we're up to twelve. 13 and 14 are up here. Okay, 13. Find 13 on the top of the package. Pull to open outer. I don't know. Or maybe you're meant to open it this way. Ah. Okay, that actually makes more sense. You're meant to open it that way. Okay. I'm just dumb. To be fair, it's not actually that obvious. All it has is 13, 14, and a little arrow that doesn't show you anything. And the instructions what? Find 13 on top of package and pull. Pull what? So yeah, um, what we've got is a bunch of cassette tapes. Again, cassette tapes. I mean, what kid in the target market has seen a cassette tape? This one says 26 rock, rock anthems, 27 guitar riffs, 28 alt tracks, 29 bass jams, 30 power ballads, 31 key guitar, guitar grooves. 32 the classics and 33 drum solos. That's what those say. Those I think, yeah, they've got something behind them, but we're not up to that number yet. What are we up to? Uh, 14. Swing open out of package side to reveal next layer of surprises. Remove box 34, this one, and save for later. Okay, well, that can go up there for now then. Then behind it, we have whatever this is. So, this is live music. Move it so you can see it, it's a little stage. It has um, some posters and lights and what is on this side? It says The Queen. Wait, is that, yeah, that's the Elvis. LOL, so that's cute. Um, he's also getting an OMG in this um, wave for some reason. And then this I think goes like that and then you've got whatever that's meant to be. I, I don't know. Right, okay, so. Then we do the other side. So we do the same thing on the other side. This is incredibly confusing. It's not quite as confusing as the other one that I opened, the other big set, which was just like a bloody maze of confusion, but this is still pretty confusing. What are you doing here? So, not sure I actually have enough space to show the whole thing opened up. Quite a pile of packaging now. So, <sighs> that side's got loads of graffiti and this side has the tapes. So this side is backstage and has a lot of graffiti things saying things like girl power and once more with feeling and all of that sort of thing. And then what do the instructions say? Where are we up to? I've completely lost track. Uh, remove box 51, which is this one, and save for later. Again, these are the OMGs in these boxes. So we'll put those there. Okay. Um, pull open like opening a cassette player. Again. I mean... Okay, what's in here? This is one of the OMG instruments. It's actually quite heavy. Again, it's in tissue paper, which is a nice touch. 
but it's taped shut, so it's going to rip when I try and open it. It's not so cool. Inside we have batteries and so there we go there's it's clear plastic with uh, animal print and chains and things like that on it and on the back it's just transparent you can see all the workings that's quite cool that is quite a fun thing I like it <laughs> so that's one of the instruments Pull out drawer. Well, I would if this was not in the way. This is in the way. So how do I get this to not be in the way? Am I meant to remove this entire panel or what? Because the drawer won't open. Well, I suppose I have to just yank. There we go. That wasn't what I thought out. This is drums. I know it's drums because it feels like a drum kit. It's um, lots of pieces. It's already tearing through its tissue paper. Desperate to be free. Okay, so we've got a drum kit. <laughs> I have way too much fun with this. Um, so this is gold with transparent green, which shows all the inner workings of it. Um, it takes three times 1.5 volt. I'm going to have to assume it's button batteries again, at least I hope it also takes the same sort of battery. And then it has this little harness, so that she can wear it like a, I don't know outfit. It's like she's in a marching band. And then this piece, presumably, is going to be your hi-hat and drumsticks. So we've got a hi-hat, which I think goes in there somewhere. Assuming it goes this way around. There we go. And then we've got our tiny little drumsticks, which are actually on elastic. Have a little drumstick holder, which was nice. It's like a little green plastic. The individual sticks are tiny. Not sure if the camera can even pick those up. They're tiny little things. So presumably she can wear this somewhere on her. So there's a little drum set. Again. Oh god, it's hard to close. It doesn't actually. There we go. That drawer's made of plastic, which is interesting. Some of it's hard cardboard and some of it's plastic. Um, okay, find 19 here. Fold down platform. Oh, it's on. Oh, right, okay, so the drawer was meant to completely come out and not. Never be seen again. Right. <laughs> Screw this drawer. It goes over there. So again, again, I think you'll need to remove this entire cardboard bit because it doesn't sit flat if it's got it. I don't know. So we've got a stage. And now we seem to have our little small dolls. Remove protective piece. Pull out and remove. Ah, oh, this piece. Oh, okay. Right. All right, and then we've got these little dials. So she just kind of flops out. And that one just kind of comes out as well. We've actually got little stands inside here. You can't really see it. Um, but there's little a little divot for the feet. So they can actually sit in there 
you can spin them. I'm sure how you do the top ones though. Do they have a... Oh, the top ones have a, a thing on top which allows them to spin, but that's not what I wanted us to do. I wanted us to do these two first. So, this will be the actual buttons now. out of your earring. Alright, so this is a baddie, I believe she's called. She's, uh, I think witch themed or something. She's got a high kind of ponytail thing and then this curls it all not. It's quite complicated hairstyle actually. It's green and black. She's got these big hoop earrings. Black lipstick black bodysuit and torn stripy socks. Yeah. That's her. Don't know if she still has her gimmick, but quite frankly I don't care. We're going to grab these back and we're going to put her shoes on before I lose them. So there she is with her green shoes on. That's her. Put her over there. Got quite a pile forming now. Ooh, she's naked. This is Metal Babe. She's very, very nude. She's got two toned black and pink hair and a bob. I think it's kind of an inverted bob because it's shorter at the back than it is at the top, at the front. She's got this kind of crying kind of lipstick. One pink eyebrow and one black eyebrow. Interesting look. It's torn fishnets. Other than that she's completely naked. She is a very very naked girl. She can have her boots as well because I'm worried I'm going to lose all the shoes. She has one black boot and one pink boot to go with her eyebrows. I don't know if they have a particular way around they go. Um, let me just let me just have a look. Do they have a left and a right? I don't think they do. And they go on whatever foot you feel like. So there she is with her mismatched boots. Hopefully we'll find her some clothes somewhere in this pile. Her stuff. The next step is there's two little I don't know if you can see them, there's two little dials just on the top behind this. There we go, now you can see them. Just here. And they have the same markings on them as the ones that the shoes were behind. So this one's a lightning bolt and this one's a broken heart. And so they spin. Not as easily as those ones, but they do spin. And we've got a red one and a black one. So these are just colour coded and they just say remix on them. They're not um, the character specific patterns of the previous lot. Open them up. Here's Not Gaga. She has glitter in her hair, which has ended up all over her eyes. I don't think it's meant to be all over her eyes. It's um, not a brilliant look, to be honest. She's caked in this stuff, it just goes everywhere. She's um, got silver fishnet stockings, they're quite hard to see. They are silver. And she's got her hair in those sort of big soda can curlers. And I've got glitter all over my hands now. Which is nice. Thanks, MGA. I appreciate it. Her boots are also glittery. with her glittery or shit boots. I hate glitter, it's really unpleasant to touch, so she's going over there. And this girl. Oh wow, she's especially naked. 
hers is fierce, I believe she's called. She has her hair in these small braids that are tied up in a high ponytail. She has no clothes at all. She's totally naked. She's a little bit of paint floor just there, but it's just a little bit of the um, gold from her eyeshadows on her cheek. But it's tiny and very, very hard to notice. All of them have a little bit of paint spatter, just like on their hands and things like that, but it's, it's very minor. They're not too bad. No major errors aside from having eyes caked in glitter. So that's that one. She had a pair of shoes as well, didn't she? Let me see if I can find them. That's her. There they are. with her shoes. So, we're up to number 23. 24, pull out the drawer, there's a drawer just on the side here. Ta-da! Little drawer. And that has a pink thing, so... Is it clothes for our naked girl, or is it something for the big one? It feels like it's something for the big ones. Yep, it is... Web and um, that broken heart motif in pink and black. So there you go. Where's 25? I assume 25 is this one. Yep, that's 25. It only just fits in there. Again, this goes like something for one of the big dolls. It's a hat! Very similar to the hat that, um, what's her name, Shadow or something like that, the goth one wears. But it's got like a kind of, I don't know, it, it, it's got a weird shape to it, almost like it's made of crystal. It's weird. And it's got a pierced brim. It's an odd thing. But yeah, it's soft and squishy too. Squishy. So, that will be one of the hats. This has to go back in here. Right. 25. We're up to 26. Tear open along. Where's 26? Ah! Okay. Now we're up to these bits. 26. Tear open along the line. Again, my lack of nails really is a problem here. Here we go. Don't want to do it. We like having to tear things. Oh my God. It never looks the same once you tear it, it bothers me. We've got a black one and tissue paper. Still have four naked dolls here, which annoys me. Okay, we've got a I think it's a skirt, or an overskirt, or something, on a hanger. It's made of tulle, I think. It's like a little net. It's very soft. A very, very soft net, with a uh, silver paint spattered all over it. It's an interesting garment. That goes over there. I assume we just keep doing this until we find everything that's in these cassette tapes, right? We got 27, 28, they are colour coded which is nice to know, so easy to tear. 
because it means that you can't then use this panel because it looks bad and that bothers me because if you're going to reuse this as a playset you don't want it to look all shitty you know you don't want it to look all bad. It bothers me it really bothers me anyway so we've got two pinks let me put them here no nope, you still can't see them two pinks one black because i already opened one two red and two green so let's open another black one the Kita Grooves one. So this will be, what is her name, Metal Babe or something? Her, the one I'm referring to is Draculaura from the time, for the time being. Because I refuse to learn their actual names. So that's, oops, it's come off. Got a, oh no, this is uh, Gaga's one, isn't it? So that's got that cracked, I don't know what that's meant to be, cracked mirror or something symbol on the back of it, and then it's got these quite stiff glitter encrusted sleeves, fake zipper, it's kind of scratchy, wouldn't be very pleasant to actually wear. So that is, I think, the Lady Gaga dolls bits, I think, I believe. Probably, maybe. Okay, and then we do the pink ones, which are Draculaurus. She does have a name. What is her name? I think it is Metal Day. Metal Chick. There we go. Uh, again, what the hell is this? The fuck is it? <laughs> this is some sort of outer jacket, I think, but it is freaking weird. It's incredibly stiff. It is absolutely coated in tiny beads. It's black and silver on one side and silver on the other. And it's so stiff. And on the back of it, it's got like a harness. We'll have to see how that actually goes on the doll because it's really hard. The other bit more standard pink skirt it's made of transparent material with polka dots and lace and a little kind of gingham ribbon yeah. she has pink and a black hanger right. I'm gonna put those on the pile of her stuff It's so soft, oh my god. So this is Bad Girl, I think her name is. The Acid Raver. She's got these fur leg warmers. Oh man, I used to have a pair of leg warmers when I was at university. They weren't they weren't stripy like this. They were black and fluffy, but they have a little caution that says warning extra on one and it says caution toxic on the other. <laughs> Is quite funny. Also, in this one, there is her jacket, which appears to be inside out. Is it inside out? Or is it meant to be? I don't, I don't bloody know. Okay, so this has got these, I think they're just glued on little, um, I don't know, sticky gems on the inside. And then it's got shoulder pads on the outside, I don't know. It's made of that transparent like um, raincoat fabric, which is really uncomfortable and stiff to wear and really hard to put on dolls, but we'll see how it goes on her. Oh, they're so soft, these leg warmers. <laughs> I love them, they're so soft. They're so pleasant to touch. The other bit is a vinyl skirt. Okay, so this is a vinyl skirt. It's problematic because these things always um, disintegrate over time, but it says extra, warning, extra, warning, extra, caution, toxic. It has a little loop of fabric on the inside to keep it from spinning, and it has a sort of harness at the front with all the straps coming off of it. It's quite cool. I 
finally we have what's her name? Ferocious. Right. Beyonce. Finally we have Beyonce's outfit. Now she's got this. Satiny blue military jacket. It's got a felt slipper down the front. It's got these stitched on hard plastic spiky shoulder pads. It's pretty cool. And this is just a belt. Ah! Okay, so this is just a little vinyl belt with lots and lots and lots of metal chains coming off of it. It's quite heavy because it's got lots of metal chains. Okay, here's the blue and red. So everyone's got different colored hangers, I think. We've got, yeah, green and black, silver and gold, black and pink and blue and red. So that's neat. Where were we up to? We're up to 33. There are 67 steps. <laughs> Okay, go back to box 34. Oh, box 34. Ta-da! And open it. Oops. Didn't expect that to come off. It's annoying. Box 34. So this is Metal Chick and Bad Girl. I assume this is their little changing rooms or something. So, 35 is opening her. And there she is. Not sure if the camera can actually see her. There she is. Let me get a look at her. She's very pretty. So, here is the doll that I am referring to as Draculaura, because let's face it, that's freaking Draculaura. Right? <laughs> got black lips, pink and I think two shades of pink eyeshadow. Her hair is in braided pigtails. She's wearing a Super Sonics bodysuit with little frilled sleeves and they're not fishnet, they're actually mesh stockings with a cobweb pattern on them. So that's her. I'll get her out of that later on and dress her. I'm not going to do that right now. 36 is revealing of... Let's have a look inside of here. Look, it's Battle of the Bands and look we have some more of the OMGs here. So this is ABCD which is something a joke the MGA often does. And this is, these kittens have claws, all ages, this Saturday, rain or shine, five dollars. And that is the grunge themed girl, and that is Shadow, or whatever her name is, isn't it? Which is interesting to see. Close that up. Open. There's a takeout garbage on it. Here is Bad Girl. So she's got sort of more of a neon yellow hair. And she's got caution tape eyebrows. They're black and yellow stripes, which is quite funny. She's got actually, I think it's dark purple lipstick rather than black. And she's wearing, she's got moulded on gloves in this fishnet bodysuit with a stripe pattern, it's like shiny and matte. It's the same pattern that's on her, or all of her stuff, so it's that pattern on her bra and panties. Put her to one side as well. Inside here, she's got a little chair, caution tape, and a TV screen that's not working. Hmm. Which 
is pretty random. This says MC Swag was here. We've got Punk Boy. Lots and lots of references to other dolls. So, that is 35 and 36. 37. That's 37. 37's here. It's not very clear, is it? Ah, uh, 37 is this little box. So 37 and 38 are their little boxes they were standing on. Which I'm assuming are going to... These, these, these oh, oh, LOLs are still naked. <laughs> it's hanging out, it's naked babies. It's another paper bag. I think all of the bags in here are paper. Which is nice. and these are Metal Chicks shoes. I don't know I keep calling her Dracula, but these shoes are one of the reasons they are, particularly the pink one, so, so reminiscent of the shoes that Monster High Dracula had for her first wave doll. It's really funny to me. And they're actually labelled left and right, <laughs> which is a nice touch. So this presumably will be bad girl's shoes. You know if there's any logic to this. Sometimes I wonder. This actually has more than just shoes on it. So this has got the shoe, which itself is a pretty standard little ankle boot, the spikes at the back. And then it's got this little cuff piece which slots over the top of it. Which is interesting because you won't even see that under the leg warmers. But you know, what ifs. Kinda cool. <laughs> Where were we up to? <laughs> 39 I think. Uh, 39's on this side. 39's here. Again, we've got a try not to destroy it as we open it. My big fat fingers are not very good at not destroying things. It's a tiny little thing. What is this? Please be clothes, please. Please be clothes. The naked babies are bothering me. Yay, clothes for the naked babies! Actually, she's the most clothed baby, so that's the irony of it. The most clothed baby gets clothes first. This is a little pair of short shorts, panties, I don't know. They've um, pockets on the back, so they're short shorts. Have they? They've got spikes on the front, which is a weird, weird choice. She also has a little top that says bad on the front of it. The original one of these dolls, um, Baddie, actually changed colour. I'm not sure if this one does. Apparently she turned green, which is a bit weird. Um, I don't know if this one does, but the fact that she has a full outfit suggests there's something, like underneath her clothes, suggests that there's something up. The instructions actually mention, um, what do they say? They've got their tots features, they spit, I think. Um, But I think that's all it tells you, so I don't I don't think there is a colour change gimmick. I'm just yeah, which is weird, so I don't know. Let's get her stupid clothes on. Eh. So there she is fully dressed in her little outfit. There we go. Yay for clothes. Yay clothes. Forty is here. This is a really big one. Ah, another instrument. We're in a really bizarre order. Really, really weird. This 
is a double guitar, two-headed, unusual instrument. And again, it plays music. There we go, funky. So this is transparent pink and silver with a broken heart on it. One head I think is supposed to be black and the other head's meant to be pink, but it's kind of dark pink and light pink. So that's the guitar. Number 41. Where is the tab? It is weird that Metal Chick's guitar is on Bad Girl's side. What's that about? That makes no sense. Dealing for the guitar. Oh, a brush. Great. What a fantastic surprise. That was worth it, wasn't it? If I get four brushes, I'm going to be pissed off. Okay, 42 is this side. Oh, is it clothes for the naked babies? Is it clothes for the naked babies? Naked baby clothes? Yay, naked baby clothes! So this is, it says baby on it. There's a little skirt, which is like a little uh, denim effect skirt. It's half pink, half black. Little pockets on it, little pockets on the back. Naked baby can actually get some clothes on. Hooray. Take her boots off. It's a relief that the naked babies are finally getting clothes. Well, this skirt feels too big for her. What I don't understand with these is why they don't, you know, put the things kind of in some sort of sane logical order because it wouldn't interfere with the surprise of opening them. It would just mean that you wouldn't have naked babies laying around for like ages. Well, you tried frantically to find their clothing. Um, which I think would be far more comfortable to be able to get the opening act all sorted before you started opening the main band, you know. So there she is. The tops on these bloody OMG LOLs annoy me because they open at the back and they just look dumb, I think. I don't know, I just, I'm not keen on them. There she is. Finding her clothing. Hurrah! Now, 43 and 44 are really small. Way too small for my big fat fingers. So what is this one? It is a milk carton. So that must belong to the LOL herself. Well, I'm assuming this one's gonna probably be something similar, isn't it, to someone else? No, it's also pink. What? 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 Oh god. Okay, it's a necklace, I think. It is a tiny, tiny little choker. It's so small and really, really floppy. Weird thing to have separate from the actual doll because it's so small and so easy to lose. Weird thing to do. 45. Come on, don't tear. Don't tear. Okay, that was a big compartment for a very small box thing. What is this? This is. Corset. Is a plastic corset. Look at that. Oh, it's two pieces. Okay. It's in two pieces that then lock together. That's an interesting way of doing it. But yeah, that's what that is. So that's a little corset piece. Okay. 
again, 46 and 47 are really small. Ah, I tore it again. I'm really bad at this. Cuffs, I think, bracelets. Tiny, absolutely tiny. I don't like how tiny some of these pieces are, they make me nervous. Come with her. Oh, and we have another tiny, incredibly flat one. Right, there's another necklace. That's for bad girl. It's just a little dog collar. Pretty straightforward. Can I put that on her so I don't lose it because it is tiny. So that's 46 and 47. 48. I need smaller fingers. They don't fit in the tiny holes. And I have teeny tiny child hands, so I don't know what kind of size of person they're expecting to open this bloody thing. Oh, look, another brush. Wow. Seriously, they're going to give me four brushes because I needed four brushes. A tiny pair of spike shaped earrings. Which I'm assuming they're like little, they're like little um, spike studs, you know, like you get a librette piercing or whatever and you have that little spike. That's what they look like. But yay, another brush. <gasps> you spoil me, MGA. This has taken me almost an hour. And I haven't, I've only even unpaged half of the bloody thing. Some spikes. Don't know where they go. Some more spikes. Again, I think that's a necklace or something. I'm not totally sure what that is. That spikes. We got spikes for our bad girl, so we'll put those on her. Number fifty. Is a stripey smoothie bottle thing with slime coming out of it. Mm -mm, delicious. Which I'm assuming is hers. Yummy slime. Actually I say that but the uh, Halloween drink that uh, Starbucks did last year I think it was was basically black slime with like green slime on it and it was freaking delicious. So you know Sometimes slime is delicious. <laughs> <laughs> what we'll do is we will put those in there. And that like that. And now we're up to... Go back to box 51 and open that one. So we do this all over again. I think we have now opened everything that is on in this section. And I do think it's a real bummer that this is not... No. I don't know, that's, that, that disappoints me because now when you have it open, you have to have this ugly nonsense. Basically, you can take this whole piece off in order to have the stage work. So you can't really have this side piece because it looks really bad because it's all like, yeah, these have all come off and I don't like that. I think it would be better if they had like, either they were designed to just open like they were little cardboard drawers or something that actually just came out or if you went in from behind them so that you didn't damage the front panel I think that would be nicer because as it is you damage the front panel and then then what do you do with it? You know? so then it looks bad and if this is supposed to be reused as place it as it is it's got plastic pieces uh, then yeah it's, just, it's disappointing because this piece has got all these plastic bits you know and the spinny gimmick and all of that so I don't know, it's a weird, weird thing. And I mean, you can reuse this piece because it's designed to slot it out. But the other bits you just can't. And I do think that is a pity. But we've got a whole other box to open. And we'll get to that in just a moment. Uh -huh. I need to go get the boys. Okay. 
We'll get to the other box in just a moment. Right, so I tidied away the big box because I don't think I need it anymore. You know, they might surprise me and be like, hey, surprise, you've got to go back to that big box, but I don't think there's anything else in the big box. So now it is just open box 51, which is here. So we'll do that. And this one is Fame Queen and Ferocious. You know, also known as Beyonce and Lady Gaga, but you know, oh, whatever. So we open up her first. I'll take her out, bring her up to the camera so you can see her. So this is Ferocious. She actually has copper hair, it's metallic shimmers which is fascinating um it's actually very soft as well so she's actually got copper colored hair it's yeah metallic it's soft as heck it shimmers like copper wire is awesome actually it doesn't show up in pictures or in, on the camera really very well um but trust me it's stunning in real life she's got these like brown colored lips but they've got um gold sort of um, glitter effect in them and then she's got this gold this gold eyeshadow with like an animal print she has one hand with gold um, nails and the other hand sorry I forgot the word nails for a moment there the other hand is completely molded as a gold metallic glove cyborg hand wh whatever um, she's got this bodysuit which is pink and red I think it's cheetah print but I'm not entirely sure animal print anyway with a fishnet leg on it um, as well the fishnet is again um, gold metallic on black which is fascinating so it's shimmery as well and so yeah there she is she's got um, eyebrow slits on one side she's got two just sort of like through her eyebrow as well so that's interesting um, and so that's ferocious put her down and then we will open fame queen and so fame queen here or no, Lady Gaga. Let's not beat around the bush here. That's exactly who that's meant to be. It's actually a, a remarkable likeness, considering how blank the faces of the OMGs are. That is very obvious who that's supposed to be. And I, I'm, I'm all for it. I'm all about it. I love it. Anyway, she has crimped white blonde and yellow hair in this very large sort of bob kind of not sure what you even call that style it's like a big poofed out shoulder length style she has blue glittery eyeshadow and a big lightning bolt on one cheek her lips are glittery slightly they've very, got very slight glitter on them they're pink and then what are her eyebrows like her eyebrows are just normal brown eyebrows she has silver nail polish on one hand and then her other hand, the whole arm, is a cyborg glove, which again is from one of the Lady Gaga music videos. I wouldn't be able to tell you offhand, I'm, um, you know, but it is from one of the Lady Gaga music videos where she has like this metallic cyborg arm. Her outfit is lace, so she's got this lace leggings and uh, black panties and then a lace sort of bralette thing going on as well with invisible straps. I believe the panties are sewn, yeah, the panties and the leggings are sewn together. Um, I think Bad Girl has the same same thing. Um, yeah. So that's the four OMGs. And then we've got box number 54. Now box 54, I assume will be like the other boxes and will contain shoes. So I'm assuming this is Ferocious as shoes. Right, so we've got, I'll show you one of the shoes because you don't know these. They are purple, 
the gold heel, very high heel, and gold laces. They're sort of pointy at the front, an interesting shaped shoe. And they come with these sort of pleather effect, neck warmer, boot cover things. They've got artificial laces on them. Yeah, um, much like the sort of leathery bits that um, Bad Girl has. I suspect these will, will start to decay, unfortunately, but that's what they look like when you make them into boots, which is kind of cool. It gives her two looks, you know, so these, these leg warmers are quite neat. Um, so that's a neat detail for her. Box of five should be Fame Queen's shoes, I will assume. Because there has been some degree of logic to this thus far. Now, okay, this is not just her shoes. Interesting. Okay, so we've got her shoes. Oh, wow. Okay, her shoes are these extraordinary. They look black. They're actually iridescent, like beetle shells. So as you move them about in the light, I don't think I can do it on camera, but as you move them about in the light, they turn green to purple. They are like a beetle shell. It's amazing. Uh, hence my oh wow, it's kind of like an oil slick effect. Um, they have these very high uh, crystal kind of shaped heel on them, or platform on them, and then spikes all up the back. Um, so they tie in with the hat, which has also got this like crystal motif. Um, she's kind of got this like cracked mirror crystal thing going on, I'm not entirely sure what it's meant to be. And then she also comes with this bodysuit, which again, very much looks like something from one of Lady Gaga's music videos. It is, is it Bad Romance? I'm not sure. It's been a while. It clips together like the corset for um, Metal Chick, Metal Babe, whatever the hell her name is. And it is a full plastic bodysuit. It's from the music video where she's like in on crutches and she like dances. Yeah. From that one. So that is her outfit. Well, part of her outfit. I am showing my age, aren't I? I'm kind of like, yeah, pop culture references. Uh, you know, the thing with the thing. I'm old, okay? I'm old. Very old. So... I don't like that we go from left to right, right from from right to, to left, it bothers me. These start on this side and then you go across to this side and it just feels unnatural to me because we started with this one and then moved to this one and then it's like then that and then that and I don't know, I just, it just, because you, we, we read from this side to this side, it just, it just, it messes with my head, it feels wrong. I keep wanting to open the ones on this side first. Um, I don't, I don't know, it's messing with me. But you can see how fat my finger is compared to that. And I have tiny hands. I have teeny tiny hands. But I'm finding these quite, Jesus, quite difficult to open actually. So this I assume is going to be Goo Goo whatever her outfit. Because that's what it's been with the other ones. The first thing contains the outfit. And yeah, it is. It's her outfit. It's glitter encrusted. I hate it. It's all glittery. It's shedding glitter everywhere. I'm going to be covered in this shit for days. Ugh, I hate glitter. It's like fucking herpes. Nobody likes it, but everyone gets it. <laughs> so it's like a pair of like, underpants, effectively. This is, um, is it called Telephone? Is the look that she's got. So it's Lady Gaga music video again. Dancing in the prison, not wearing a hell of a lot. That's what this look is. That's definitely what this look is. See? You know, soon she's gonna get out and get in a car and go murder a bunch of people at a diner. That's what she's going to do. So, that's Goo Goo, all dressed up. This is another big one, so this is the other, the last musical instrument. If I can open the damn thing without tearing, ah, I tore it. I tore it. I'm very 
very bad at this. Sure enough, it's not a musical instrument. This is actually her musical instrument. Which is interesting because the other one it was the wrong way around. I, see, I have to assume the other one they just couldn't fit the drums in. So this is a crystal effect. It's sort of a slightly purpley white transparent guitar. Let's turn it on. That is on the nose, MGA. That is on the nose. <laughs> right, so, with that borderline copyright infringement out of the way, uh, <laughs> we then get her necklace. Oh, that's neat. So that's got a big, jeweled, spiked heart in the middle and then it's got these incredible shoulder pads as well so that's another part of her outfit her outfit's got a lot of this metalized plastic that's cool so that's all of that side back of her packaging by the way there's a big mirror and it says you got this and then you've got her kita and it's backstage passes and Ferocious is, has a, um, he's also got lots of shoes down the side, I think, I can't actually show you, there we go, she's got lots of shoes. And then Ferocious has got, like, this sort of, the chair, and there's, like, big lips, there's a gold record from Fierce side, and also a head with a wig as well. Um, and on this side, you have First Wave OMGs, um, you've got, is it Honey Licious or whatever the heck, her name is, and uh, I don't, I can't remember what her name is. The one with the curly, yellowy blonde hair. That's wearing like the pink and animal print outfit. I'm not. I'm, can, can you see that? I don't. I don't know if I can get a good image of it. But I can't remember her name. So whatever. I'm really bad at remembering the um, OMGs and LOLs names because they've all got just such weird names. I just, I cannot keep track. And there's so many of them as well. I just, I just get very confused. So 59 should be Fierce's outfit, because everything else up to this point is suggested. And it's not, because MGL likes to screw with me. It is a bottle that says Pop. And it's also in Goo Goo's thing. So this is Goo Goo's little bottle. Fine, fine. Touché, MGA, touché. You got me. You lulled me into a false sense of security, thinking I knew what was happening. And then you ripped it away from me, didn't you? This is a big one. Oh, look! Another brush! That's my third brush. There's also a pair of earrings. So these are little dangly crystal earrings. Again, they belong to Fame Queen. We haven't had a lot of um, brochures and stuff yet. But maybe finally, poor naked fierce can get some. There's nothing up here. I think 60 and 61 is one compartment. That is confusing. Because there's nothing in there, it's just one long compartment, which that was in. So I am assuming that that's just a numbering issue, that that's not actually, yeah, I don't know, we'll see. That's incredibly confusing, MGA. Ah uh, yeah, look, the 62 here actually has two compartments, they screwed it up, look. 62 here, which is one thing, has two compartments, so they've actually messed this up. These should be here and here, and the one that I just opened should be here. I don't know how they managed to fuck that up, but they did. So there you go. These are ferocious. So this will be a necklace or something because it's very flat and tiny. Okay, it's a bracelet, I believe. It's like a little tiny, you can barely see it. It's a tiny gold bracelet. It's pretty, pretty generic. It's just got little spikes on it. It's kind of just a little, little bracelet cuff. We still haven't found Fierce's outfit. Fierce is still naked as the day she was born. And then this is 
her necklace. It's like a little metallized spiky collar. It's really hard to look up and down with a collar like that. Anyway, 63. Ow, 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 as it bites my hand. Again, I think they're fucked up again because this is a really big. Oh god, I can't get it out. This is really big. It doesn't actually fit into this compartment at all. This does not fit at all. This is not supposed to go in that compartment. And look, oh look, it's my fourth brush. I'm so, so excited, guys. A fourth hairbrush. Oh, I needed one of them. One hairbrush for all the dolls wouldn't have been enough. No, I needed four of them. One for each doll. You can't possibly just share brushes. This has got an earring. Another brush! Fucking assortment of the bloody things. Alright, so we've got two earrings and they are shell shaped. One of them is like a shell shaped cuff and the other one is bigger and has chains coming off of it. And those are both ferociouses. Fucking brushes. And then again, yeah, 64, see, so there's nothing in there because they've messed up their ordering. 65 has two compartments, but there's nothing in one of those compartments. I wonder what was meant to be there. I what was meant to be in 63. So there's nothing in there. But there is something in what should have been 64. What is this? Right, so Ferocious still has no clothes. Fierce still has no clothes, but she does have a bottle. No clothes, but a bottle. Go Fierce. Okay, so we're now up to 66 and 67. If, Fier if Fierce's clothes are not in one of these, I'm going to bloody cry. <laughs> Seriously, it's getting ridiculous. What is this one? Oh my god, what are those? Okay, so these are arm cuffs, I believe. They're made out of the same sort of pleathery material as the leg cuffs for Fer Ferocious, I think her name is. They're just little... Little leather cuffs, I'll get them on her in a bit. And there's nothing in 67. Oh no, there is something. Where is it? There it is. I'm hoping this is fierce bloody clothes. Yep, finally, the last thing you open, fierce's clothes. Why? Why MGA? Why does she have to be naked for so long? It's weird. So what I've got to do now is I've got to put all of the OMGs together and make sure I've got all the pieces I'm supposed to have. Um, because one of these compartments was empty. So I need to find out whether there's something missing or whether it's just a weird thing. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get her dressed. So that's her honestly pretty freaking ugly outfit. I don't know what it's a reference to because I don't really know Beyonce that well. but. She's got like this animal print uh, thing going on. It's it's a hideous outfit. I really don't like it. But that's that's her. She's got clothes at least, so she's not just a naked baby sitting there being gross and weird and naked. So this is the four. Can I put them all in one hand? I've got two smaller hands to do that. So this is our four LOLs. They are all quite different to each other, to be fair. I don't really think they make a cohesive band. Um, it's a weird, weird assortment to have like, you know, two that are obviously based on existing pop stars. She might be as well, I don't know. I'm thinking that she might be, is it pink black or something? There's, there's a Korean lilidery kind of metal band. I don't really know. She might be based on that as well, but a metal band with two pop stars and then this girl who's like an acid bloody raver. Looks like she belongs to Lightning Fest, dancing along to some cyber goth music. Um, it's a weird, it's a weird group. It is a weird combination of dolls. I don't know. It's a bit odd. But I think that's everything. I think that's 67. Yeah, that's everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this. I'm going to put these things away and I'm going to make sure I have all the bits for the OMGs. And once I've got them dressed, I will show you them. So, hey, oh, where's my hands? Yeah. Okay, I got them all dressed. 
I also sorted out the rubbish. <laughs> so, we'll start from the beginning, I suppose. Here's Ferocious. Took me a while to figure out where this piece went. I actually had to go and look at stock photos because it's really not clear where that's meant to go. Um, but what is interesting about her is that her outfit is a bit different to her artwork. So her artwork has this split from here and also down, whereas this is actually fully at this, <laughs> which is a shame, but that's how it is. Um, but also, uh, I had a bit of trouble getting her leg warmers to stay up. They have decided to do so now. But that's her, all dressed, looking pretty cool. And then we have bad girl with their stupid glasses. So these are the only glasses that stay on. The other two, I cannot get their glasses to stay on. The problem is with these dolls, it's because they don't have particularly big ears. And also the earrings, the, the, the um, glasses quite often don't actually hook behind their ears, which means that they just don't go on. They don't fit. Anyway, that's her look. <coughs> and I, I do think it's kind of a shame that she's got these really cool like shoes, but they're hidden under these leg warmers. Leg warmers are lovely and soft though. So that's her look all finished the problem i have with her is that i cannot get this on without taking off her jacket i think i have to take a jacket off put this on and then put a jacket back on but it kind of pulls this down and so she ends up being all like tits out which is not not a great look i'm i'm, I'm gonna you know come out and say it's not a good look but uh let's put her glasses back on her face they are literally the only glasses of the lot of them that actually fit. So let's turn those back on her. And even then, they're not brilliant. So the next one we have is Fame, whatever the heck, Fame Queen, that's her name. So there she is. Now, she has a problem in that this wrist is incredibly fragile. When I was trying to take her hand off to get her jacket on, it was starting to pull away from its peg, so I'm a bit reluctant to move it too much because it feels like it's quite fragile. Her other hand is fine, it's got a little bit of flashing on it from where it's been moulded. It catches onto her skirt constantly, but it's it's okay. Um, but this one is, is not great, which is a shame because otherwise she's pretty damn cool. Uh, her glasses do not stay on. Now, uh, her glasses, there they are. She also doesn't like staying on her. Uh, stand obviously but her glasses supposedly go this way okay but if you look at them they don't even reach her ears there is no way that these will stay on as soon as you pick her up and you start moving her they fall off as soon as you put a hat on <coughs> they will fall off they're gonna stay on now just to spite me but they're not actually on see they're not connected to anything you just kind of have to hope they're going to stay in place which is a real design flaw because see what i mean had they just made the arms of this ever so slightly longer and made them hook over her ears or even done what they did with the um little lols where they have little um indents behind the ears that the glasses can hook into then her glasses would stay the hell on but as it is they don't um, which is annoying, and I can't figure out any other way they can go on. They have to go on this way around. So that's irritating. I cannot get them to stay on. Also, her skirt likes to come undone because <laughs> there are people coughing around me. It's all sorts of stuff going on. Um, her skirt doesn't like to stay on because it's just that little bit too tight around her waist. Um, once you put her big plastic, um, what is it, is it bodysuit thing on, the skirt then is a little bit too small. And you kind of got to yank it to get it to stay on. And then because it's right at the very edge of its um, Velcro, it's not overly happy about it. And then as soon as you put the stand on that of course knocks the velcro so 
Oh no, her outfit was not particularly well designed when it comes to working alongside the stand. Which is frustrating. <coughs> Interestingly, these stands, they're all clear, but also they have um like blobs around the bottom of them. But they don't come with the weird seat part that the other stands do, um, which no one ever bloody uses because they don't work. Um, I mean, these are dolls that do not have bending knees, so why the hell would you put a chair? It's weird. Um, and finally we've got, what is her name? Metal Chick? Let me see. Yeah, Metal Chick. So, this is her look. She actually has some blurring to her makeup just there. But it's a very minor error. You can see it just um, on that eye. But other than that, she's fine. So actually the quality control on these isn't too bad. She's got this weirdest shit outfit. There are beads now all over my floor because handling this incredibly coarse jacket and trying to get it on her means that beads just go everywhere. It just sheds beads. Um, it's also quite awkward to get on because it's really stiff and it's got these weird shoulder pads which means she can't actually really move her arms now. Uh, so that's that's a weird, she's, she's got a, she's, it's a weird look. I'm not totally sure I like it but there we go. Um, I also couldn't quite work out which way around this was meant to go. The picture on the box suggests it goes this way around with the lacing at the back. So that's what I did. Um, but yeah, it's not overly clear how everything goes together. And like Fame Queen, her glasses just are too short. They don't they don't stay on. They are actually too narrow for her big fat head. So you put them on and they just they pop off because she's got a big fat head and the glasses are too narrow for her big fat head. So that's quite annoying because if they were just that little bit wider they would stay on but as it is they stick out okay. and that's really annoying because they look stupid like that they just don't stay on and because these dolls don't have a nose they don't have anything for the bridge to sit on so you can't you can't push it back you know the glasses just don't they don't work they should be like that but they won't stay on so I can't get either of those two glasses to work thankfully despite the empty box it does look like I actually have everything I think so we've got her guitar, her guitar, is it a guitar or is it a bass? I think it's bass. Her guitar and her drums. All of their bits are together. The things that I thought were necklaces for these dolls, it actually turns out are for the little dolls, which is confusing as all hell. Um, because again, there's nothing that really tells you what's for what. And because this little bracelet that's on her, also fits the OMGs and was in with the OMGs. It wasn't clear that it was meant to be for her. Um, so I thought it was for one of these girls. I thought it was for her, but because she's got the long sleeves, why would she have a bracelet on? So um, I had to study the images to figure that out. But I think that's weird. Like, put all the LOL stuff together and then put the OMG stuff together just to make it clearer for people because otherwise you just get incredibly confused. So that's her there put them in these little boxes just to get them out of the way. Um, I don't collect LOLs and so they go in their little boxes until they're rehomed. Um, so the thing that I thought was a necklace for Metal Chick, it turns out is actually I think a necklace for Metal Bay, but it's way too big. It, it's this huge piece, but it's too small to be a belt and the image has her with it as a necklace, so I'm, I'm bewildered by it. I'm utterly bewildered by this piece. Um, you can see it's it's just it's it's it bewilders me and the same is true of um, Baddie she has the same thing it's confusing because it's it doesn't fit and you can see hers is even worse it's really really baggy and I'm like well wh what because it's not like their heads don't pop off they couldn't just have something that was actually the right bloody size and it's got a hole in the I just, I don't understand at all. I am incredibly confused by all of it. So, that's them and my pile of trash. Um, I'm actually, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I might like, hang on to it for packaging maybe. Could use it like tissue paper because it's just, it's just tissue paper. Um, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Apparently, according to the instructions, the instruments should be able to be played together, but... I don't know how many bloody hands they think you're going to have 
because I don't know how how you're going to do that. It says um, the buttons on the instruments are numbered between one and six. Press the same button on each. When pressing one, begin with the drummer. She will give a countdown. After the drummer says four, press number one. And the other instruments. Um, oh, yeah. So. Just go. Okay, a small child is about to run across the screen. There he goes. So let's, let's try this. Let's turn these all on. Now apparently they all take A13 batteries, which are little button batteries. So that's good that they all take the same sort of battery. It would be really annoying if they didn't. Um, okay. So that was number two, not number one. You need. You need a lot of hands for this to work. There is. What is it included? Yeah. It is extremely confusing because, yeah, you need a lot of hands. Um, okay, that one's one. That one's one. And that one's one. I had to press all three together. This doesn't sound good. That is not a good sound. So that's what they do. But yeah, I think that kids will have quite a lot of fun just playing with the instruments in general. Because, you know, the fact that they play music is kind of cool. I'm just not sure how well you can get them to play together without just making noise. Not music, noise. So, uh, yeah. Your mileage may vary on that, for sure. But I'm sure that, uh, you know, kids will enjoy playing with those. I'm going to play with them later. Um... I'm also going to try and figure out how to get the dolls to actually hold them without falling off their stands because these stands are not particularly sturdy. But anyway, let me try and get these actually lined up so that the camera can see them. Do you have to? No, stay. Stay where you are. I've nearly finished. Let me get them lined up. Grab my camera. So, there they are. That is... The OMGs.